Okay guys, time to play with some pressurized oxygen. So again, our wand here has been soaking in the sanitizer solution for quite a while. So we know that's clean, so we go ahead and drop that into our beer, our starter beer. And next, we need to hook up our regulator. And the regulator goes to the end of the wand. And now, we do hook it up to our canister of oxygen. So again, this is the same kind of stuff that a lot of welders use. Perfectly safe, just keep it, you know, don't be an idiot. Keep it away from open flames and extreme heat. It is a reverse thread if you use these, so it's not lefty-loosey, it's lefty-tighty on these. And we gently turn to open up the valve and you're going to see a good pop of uh, gas coming out. Let me zoom in here. Okay, so we're zoomed in here. We're going to go ahead and start releasing some oxygen. It's such a small volume, we want to go real slow. It's not going to take a lot. Okay, that's a pretty good rate there. You see it's coming out pretty good. And we're going to slow it down a little bit. And we don't want to boil over with the, the foam, so that's probably plenty. You know, again, it's a tiny, tiny volume. And if you don't have an oxygenation setup, you know, you can use an aeration, which is like an aquarium pump. It just pumps regular air in there, not just oxygen from a tank. So. Okay, so we have that done. So now we're going to remove our wand. And we're going to drop that back into our sanitized solution here. So I unhook the hose. Make sure your regulator is turned off on your tank. And we're going to put this back into our sanitized solution. And now we're going to get our funnel again when it has sanitized. We're going to set that up. into our flask. Let me zoom out and get a better shot here. Okay, so now we got our wort oxygenated. Now it's time to take out our yeast. And remember, this is a sanitary solution, so no harm if any of this drips in there. And I'm just going to kind of shake it dry a little bit, get the yeast shaken up a little bit too. And now I'm just going to go ahead and crack it. Be careful because if it's under pressure, it might fizz a little bit. You might hear a crack. All right, so that's good. And now we just go ahead and quickly dump it right in. And that's it. The yeast is in. Now we're gonna take our funnel out. We wanna give it a little bit of a swirl to just kinda of mix the yeast around a little bit. And that's it. Time to take our sanitized foil. and cover the top of this up. And you don't need it airtight, obviously it won't be because it's uh, foil, but all the pressure is gonna be coming out so it will keep from the bacteria any pathogens or anything getting into our little starter over here. So this is good to go. So now we're gonna do is set this out of the sunlight. Ideal spot is in a bathtub, uh, you know, in case it does boil over uh, during fermentation. Uh, you know, it's not going to run in your carpet or ruin your wood floors or anything like that. So, we're going to go ahead and set this in the dark in room temperature. Ideals anywhere between 62 to say 72 degrees. Uh, but, you know, a little warmer or colder is not going to hurt you too much right now. This is just a starter beer. So, that's that for this first start of the Pacific Ale Yeast. And now we're going to go ahead, as you guys can see, the yeast for our other one, our Hefeweizen, is really gaining some steam here. It's expanded. It's been about two hours since we popped the pouch. Let's see if you can hear the uh, fizz in the microphone. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's really swollen up. So we know the yeast is really alive and well in here. So we're going to go ahead and start our boil now for our next starter. And we're going to pitch this yeast just like we did this previous yeast. And we'll have two yeast starters good to go.